sooner than later will be playing in NBA uniforms in this building. Well, here's tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Dollar General. A couple of those young men we're talking about, Imani Bates, number one, and Jalen Duran, number two. But to your point, Brent, DeAndre Williams was the star for Memphis on Wednesday. And he has been since he became eligible midway through last season. This team is 21-5 and five with DeAndre Williams, the Evansville transfer, in the starting lineup. Set to tip it up. Duran wins the tip to his freshman teammate, Amani Bates, number one in white. Remember, this has been a high turnover team early in the year for Penny Hardaway. First shot of the game is good from Lester Quinones. That's exactly how he started their game Wednesday night. And exactly like Wednesday night, they're going to put major heat on the opponent's point guard. In this case, it's going to be Tyrese Hunter. Here's Gabe Kalsher. He had a dozen in their win over Xavier. This is an outstanding defensive team, and there you go, Rich. This, to me, they were last year. This is as good a defensive team as anybody in college basketball. Currently, they're number one in defensive efficiency, but more to the point, they play hard, their system is good, and they have great depth in lane. Jalen Duran, less than a minute into the game, has his first block, averages four blocks a game. Here's Brockington, five on the shot clock. Gotta go. Freshman's gotta see it. Deep three. Off the window, no, and Williams has his first rebound. Williams, and that one's blocked by Anaruna. A late whistle, and with 19.02, they call a jump ball. It'll be Iowa State basketball. Oh, you talk about turnovers. That could tell the tale in this game. Well, it certainly can because we know that when Memphis doesn't turn the ball over and they get shots up, A, they're going to crash the glass, and B, they've got guys that can put the ball in the basket from the outside. Memphis is 348th in the nation in most turnovers per game. They don't have a pure point guard. That's just the way it looks now. I mean, Alex Lomax is probably the closest thing to that. Touch good defense. Tipped yeah. out of bounds. It's going to stay Iowa State ball. Six seconds left. We talked to the Iowa State coaching staff. They said they want shots early or late in the shot clock. Why yeah. is that? And well, Mike Tyson once said about plans, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. We'll have to see whether that can happen. And we're going to have a yep. shot clock violation. So two excellent defensive possessions to start by Memphis. Right. T.J. Otzelberger has done a remarkable job to start his career. He knows the culture in Ames as well as anybody. Tonight is a tall order. And we'll see because these kids really fight and play together. They wall up during his first shot. Air ball. Here comes Kalsher, the transfer from Minnesota. Brockington's got to stay aggressive. I think early on he's kind of I think he's got to kind of force the action a little bit He can get by these guys and make some plays but Right now they're just moving the ball side to side now Kalsher guarded by Bates They're gonna take a tough shot here Spin move pretty by Gabe Kalsher. He gets fouled and will go to the line transfer from Minnesota Made a couple threes the other night. Now it's, that's a good sign. Started the season three for 20. Take a look. Good spin move right here. And then Duran reaches in, commits the foul. And one thing Penny Hardaway doesn't want to see early is foul trouble on behalf of Duran and Bates, which happened the other night. Kalsher good on the free throw. First point of the night for Iowa State. There's Jalen Duran. The freshman just turned 18 years old on November 18th. The 6'11 freshman from Sharon Hill, Pennsylvania. And Imani Bates is how old? 18. I think he's 17. 17, right. Yeah. 17. Yeah. 18 months ago, these two guys were high school sophomores. Nothing but upside. Bates double teamed. Yeah. And we talk a lot about Memphis's defense. Iowa State's defense has shown up as well. Absolutely. Now they're building this program from the defensive end first. Remember the guys that T.J. Otzelberger worked for, Greg McDermott and, and Fred Hoiberg, offensive-minded guys. 
There's Landers Nolly. No, and the rebound to Amaruna. Kind of what we expected, Rich. Two really good defensive teams. Got him inside. And Aruna couldn't get it to go. And Aruna needed to pump fake once right there. And he would have got the defender in the air early. Instead, he went straight up. Comes up empty. Memphis one for four from the field. Now one, one for five. Here comes Brockington. Gives it up to Hunter, who goes right at Jalen Duran and gets his first bucket. And that is exactly how you handle a shot blocker. He can block it out of bounds ten times. But take it up through his chin, especially because he's already got one foul. That is a great play by the freshman. Tate spins and throws it out of bounds. There's one of those turnovers we alerted to. Yeah, that, that, right now the Memphis offense is a disaster. Bates is not a point guard. But a great cut. Look at that body to body right there. And a nice job by Jalen Duran of, of not reaching in and fouling right there. Well, Penny Hardaway, as you said, Fran, has built this program on defense. Despite what you might think as him being an offensive star in his days at Memphis and his days in the NBA, Penny Hardaway in his fourth season at his alma mater has really established a culture of defense. He's also put together a dynamite assistant coaching staff. Here's Hunter. Andrew's got a piece of that. There you see the coaching staff, Rasheed Wallace, Larry Brown, Hall of Famer, Cody Topper, former NBA assistant. And uh, pretty good coaching staff right here. Penny Hardaway not afraid to uh, get some guys with a lot of experience. Rasheed is a great player. Larry Brown certainly one of the great coaches of all time. Here's Aliaj Kutz off the mark. Gomax in. Probably the, he is a point guard, but early in the season, he's been one to one assist turnover. That's got to get better. Dandridge, excellent the other night, Rich, off the bench. Here's Josh Minot, another super freshman, and he comes up empty. Great block out by Kausher right there. That will go unnoticed except when they watch the tape. Penny Hardaway testing his depth early in this championship oh, he'll game. He'll play everybody, and he's got the depth to do it. Keeps him fresh. Only two made field goals between these two teams. Defense ruling the night here at Barclays Center. Isaiah Brockington gets it to go with the shooter's touch. Good touch. Pretty good defense by Nolly. He cut Brockington off, but Isaiah is on fire coming off that incredible performance on Wednesday. But that's the aggressiveness I'd like to see. Here's Kalsher. And an easy two from Gabe Kalsher. Trying to go to the penthouse, but he only got to the third floor. But that's where the fitness center is. A 6-0 Cyclones run, and they're up 8-2. Five minutes gone by in the first half of this championship game. And Lomax gets fouled, will step aside. Iowa State out early. Hey, well, Wednesday at the shoot-around, excellent teaching of all these young Bing guys. He was in Jalen Duran's ear throughout practice. What a great resource for Penny Hardaway. I hope these young men in the white uniforms tonight realize how fortunate they are to have the wealth of knowledge that's on their bench. You mentioned Wednesday morning. Rasheed Wallace looks like he could still play with how energized he is even during shoot-arounds. The interesting thing about this is Cody Toppert, one of the assistants, said to one of the players who will remain nameless, do you know, do you know who Larry Brown is? when he joined the staff. No, did he play anywhere? <laughs> yeah, he played on the Olympic team, played in the old ABA, and he's in the Hall of Fame. But, you know, that's how kids are. Oh, look at this. Nice block. And I don't mind that. I've been talking about this all weekend. Go to the rim. Josh Minot, a freshman, is an excellent athlete. But all you got to do is take it out of bounds now. Take it at these guys, man. They'll block them. That's a great athletic play by 
young man from Florida who's going to be a really good player. Rich, these kids, will, there's four or five of them are going to be in the NBA. It's a matter of just running your own race. Yeah. I'm not on a lot of NBA draft boards. Not everybody has to be one and done. There's Caleb Grill, two in the Cardinal red. Hunter for three. Off the back iron, chased down by Minot. Another turnover. And Grill comes away with it. That's turnover number five it, for Memphis. It, it's just unnecessary. It, Rockington nice. gives it up. Robert Jones, the transfer from Denver, no. Good pump fake. That's what you're doing there. If you don't go at their chest on the drives, when you get it on a two-foot stop in the paint, just show the ball. We call it a six-inch fake. Pump fake, that's it. You saw the end of it right there. Robert Jones, the youngster from Minneapolis. And then Coons would see. Look at that fake right there. Perfect. And Aliage Coons. Steps to the line to shoot two. They call him Jazz in Ames. From one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, Ljubljana in Slovenia. Same hometown as Luka Doncic. That's right. Don't know each other, but uh, Slovenia, a country of three million people. The size of maybe New Hampshire. But uh, put out some great players. Fourth place in the Olympics. Great basketball there. Prince goes two for two. It's a 10-4. Iowa State lead. This is amazing what what TJ Otzelberger has done in a month Of course he took the job over in April. It, it is absolutely amazing Andrew that's a charge Yeah This listen this Memphis defense is smothering this offense is a disaster There's just no rhythm. There's no rhyme. There's no buddy Set spacing the floor setting the table it's a work in progress. A turnover a minute so far. Six minutes gone by, six turnovers for the Memphis Tigers. I love the effort. I love the, the intensity. Look at this swarming defense. Got to get it over. Rockington does the transfer from Penn State. And Iowa State, not the same Cyclones team that we're used to seeing the last five, six years. They are built on defense, forcing over 18 turnovers a game in the early go. I don't know Memphis's personnel, but watching tape, to me, the best playmaker so far early in the year has been uh, the youngster to transfer Timberlake from uh, Miami. Here he is with the ball. Yeah. I think he could, that's not a shot necessarily that you want him to take early. I think he can be both a facilitator and a scorer. Memphis scoreless in the last six yeah. minutes. Right? Rich, somebody's got to just organize them and say, you go here, you go here. Give me a ball screen, I'll find the open man. To steal almost. There's Trey Jackson, number three in red. Coots, good shot fake and good bounce pass. And those are the bunnies you really yeah. know you need. Well, he's spooked because of the shot blocking. And again, I'm pump faking in there. Andridge had it taken away. Another turnover. That one could have been a foul. Numbers. Rockington goes right at Timberlake. And an offensive foul called by Courtney Green. Well, it's wall-to-wall -wall basketball on ESPN's Family and Networks. Tonight at 11.30 Eastern on ESPN2, right after us. It's the finals of the Pacon Wooden Legacy from Anaheim. And the 24th-ranked USC Trojans will be taking on San Diego State. All right, let's go, Alex Lomax. Get us into an offense. Get that ball moving. And Lomax turns it over. Here's Tyrese Hunter. Shoot it. Kicks it out. Shoot the ball against this defense. Hunter open and short on the three. Bates in transition, got it. That's better than a turnover, seriously. Good quick shot off the break in rhythm, and if he misses it, there's a 40% chance that Memphis will get the offensive rebound. You know, one of the tantalizing things about Amani Bates from people who scouted him in high school was that he plays his best in chaos. Yeah, he's not a point guard. If I were his, quote, people, I would tell Penny Hardaway, just put him at small forward, let him make shots. Don't think about running offense. Use your athleticism.
This is New York City. You're crashing your car. Talk Wisconsin basketball. There's always a Dick Bennett connection. This young man played for Nick Bennett, Dick's nephew, and Tony's cousin. Why does that fit in together? When we talk about the defensive intensity that we've seen from Iowa State this year, not Freddie Hoiberg, not Greg McDermott. Those are great coaches. T.J. Otzelberger told us, I get my philosophy from Dick Bennett. And Dick's had an influence on so many young coaches through the years, especially in the upper Midwest. And high praise for Hunter. He said when he wants to show people how he needs this Cyclones team to play, he says, look at number 11, how he plays. Here's Bates. To his fellow freshman, Duran can't pay it off. Honestly, I get excited for Memphis when they move the ball and get a shot up, and that time it was good basketball. Bates to Duran, just didn't knock it down. Look at the harassment here. Remember what we said, Hunter's going to see five bodies tonight. Kelsher, jump stop two feet in the paint. Condit, surrounded by white jerseys, and he traveled with it. That's just a lot of length in that lane right there. You like the effort, you like the offensive rebounding, but watch the challenge. Tough shot. Again, look at the length inside. And a nice job by Timberlake to almost tie up Condon who travels. I mean, there can't be more than a few teams that have the length now at all positions that Memphis does. Rich, they were the best defensive team in America last year, and they could be this year. Duran, offensive foul. There's another one. And it, it's growing pains. You know, this kid should be a high school senior. Monty Bates could be a high school junior. They chose to come to Memphis because they were able to graduate. It's a great spot. They love basketball there. It's like a pro franchise. And, and playing for Penny Hardaway is the right thing to do. It's just, they're just not quite ready yet to be impact players at the college level. Love their energy, love their potential. Now Penny going small with Dern on the bench and Tyler Harris, number 14, and White checking in. <laughs> Iowa, yeah, Iowa State's not scoring. The defense has been great. A little hezzy by Tyrese Hunter, but the shot altered again. Different than Xavier for Tyrese Hunter the other night. A lot of bodies in there when he drives in. Travel. Oh, got away with one. And in fairness, they're going to be a little more lenient this year. You still can't shuffle your feet, but the mandate is spin moves, euro steps, step backs. Just make sure it is absolutely a travel. I thought Nolly tra traveled right there. No call. Interesting story with Tyler Harris, who's inbounding the ball. He transferred away from Memphis to Iowa State and now back to Memphis. There's a handful of guys in college basketball this year that have done that. Right? There you go. There you go. DeAndre Williams yep. will go to the line and shoot, too. He's their most important player. We saw it on Wednesday. Rich, we did the NIT last year up in Frisco, Texas. And he was absolutely outstanding. I mentioned it earlier. They are 21 and 5 since the Evansville transfer got eligible. He's an older senior because he didn't enroll in college for a couple of years due to academic issues. But he is a terrific all around player. It's a stark contrast to the youth of this Memphis program. He's 25 years old, is DeAndre Williams. And after the game on Wednesday, in which he registered a double-double, 16 points, 10 boards, Penny said, we need that energy from him every game. Well, they're going to get it. And they're going to get it. He's a, he's a versatile guy, both ends of the floor. Williams goes one for two, and Caleb Grill comes away with it. He's another one. Transferred away from Iowa State to UNLV, now back to Ames, Iowa. Oh, got a layup. Kelsher for two. Good job. Grill had his head up. Pressure in the backcourt. Memphis didn't get all the way back. And those baskets are not coming easy for T.J. Otzelberger, but it'll take everyone he can get. You almost get the feeling now that it's going to be first to 50 wins this game. Here's Harris. Air ball on the three. Just two field goals in the first 10 plus minutes for the Memphis Tigers.
It's a, an adventure, isn't it? Getting the ball over half court. Offensive foul called on Iowa State. Rich, let's go back and watch Caleb Grill under pressure. He was a four-stored athlete. Athlete. Now watch. He's looking both ways. He's looking for pressure. Heads up. Here comes the pressure. Steps through. Head still up. Perfect chest pass. I mean, that's that's junior high basketball right there. That's how we teach the, the, the chest pass in junior high school. Technically sound. Excellent. From Caleb Grill. Yep. From Mays, Kansas. I got a ticket there once on my way to Hutch outside of Wichita. <laughs> know exactly where it is. Super athlete in Mays, Kansas. He was. Six, eight high jumper. Here's Bates. High arcing shot. And Imani Bates. That's the offensive talent I love about him. I know he can handle the ball, but right now to me, he's a scoring wing. Look at Tyler Harris. Harris picks it off from behind on Tyrese Hunter. Nolly, no. And Jackson wants to run. Again, best case scenario for TJ Otzelberger and company is score early or score late. There they were trying to score early. I think it's easier to score early because they haven't scored in the middle and they really haven't scored yeah. late because of that shot clock. But I think to your point, if you can get it up the floor quickly versus that pressure, you always want to attack pressure because it really is the easiest chance to get to the rim, and we've seen that already. Iowa State won for their last 11 from the field. Memphis just 3 for 13 on the game. Tyrese Hunter is going to need a whirlpool after this game like Storm Murphy did. In fact, he may need a restraining order. Excellent defense. Kalsher spins and just gets swallowed up. And that's okay. Pump fake, shots blocked, no turnover. Eventually, they're going to call some fouls on that play. But you have to attack shot blockers. Ten to shoot for the clones. Hunter's got to go. Now five. Hunter avoided taking the charge. And Tyrese Hunter's in the score column again. And he's going to continue to learn to have that shot clock in his head. Excellent job right now with the clock running down. Really well done by the freshman. Great body control, too. Bates, straight line drive, and he gave it up. This is where you, oh, this is where I push it. And that's a foul. And a foul's going to go on DeAndre Williams. Iowa State up four as we go to break. Watch the shot clock running down. The freshman, he knows it. He's going to the rim. Watch him. But Purdue Boilermakers can really lay claim to being as good as anybody in the country. I think even Mark Few is surprised by his team based on my conversation with him a couple weeks ago in Spokane. And we'll find out if that Duke defense is for real tonight at 1030. But don't go away from this one because it's going to be fun. I will run back to my hotel right after this game. Rich. Purdue, Gonzaga, Duke, and Baylor, the only teams at 6-0 or better from the major power conferences so far this season. These two teams, one of them oh. will be 6-0. Great, great play by Alex Lomax. Lomax, nice. Gets it to go. Yeah. Defense leads to offense. That's so important because they've struggled to score in the half court. That time Lomax uses that suffocating defense to create offense. And Bruno almost lost it. Well, they're switching, and Iowa State's got to recognize that the white jerseys are jumping into passing lanes on the switches. And Aruna, left hand, got it to go. Heck of a move. By the Kansas transfer, you don't see that very often, but the young man from the Netherlands steps right into this starting lineup for T.J. Oxelberg. It's like he signed as a free agent. Wanted to stay in the Big 12, but did the free agent deal. Man, a bucket's hard to come by on both ends tonight. It's great. Williams. Picked off. Another turnover. That's the ninth for Memphis in the half. And it's points on the other end from Gabe Kelsher. You don't know how big that shot is. Started out the season three for 20. Made a couple the other night. This is a kid at Minnesota as a freshman that shot nearly 40%. And he's doing so many other things for the Cyclone team, including the defense. He's now 19 points shy of 1,000 for his career, Gabe Kelsher. This is a stunner. 
I didn't think Iowa State could compete this well this early in the season, Rich. I'm not going to lie. Four on the shot clock. Another turnover. And Hunter stepped on the sideline. It's unbelievable. We had the turkey yesterday. We had the stuffing. Today we had the turnovers. I'm gaining 20 pounds here, but look at that defense. Ten turnovers forced already. They force 18 a game on average. That's top 30 in the nation. And they're doing it against a team that turns it over 20 times a game in their first five. That's second most in all Division I basketball. It's been a recipe, Rich, for this game so far. 12 points by Memphis. It's the ninth-ranked team in the country. Nolly, three. Air ball. Jaden Hardaway, the rebound. Seven on the shot clock. There's Minot. Gotta recognize the clock. Two to shoot. Nolly gets it up, and it's good. Hate that. If you're the defense, you hate it. If you're Penny, you love it. Good job by Landers Nolly to recognize that clock. Nolly just five for his last 19, so he knocks that one down. Very fortunate that he had that presence of mind. This kid's only averaging six shots a game this year. He was all conference last year. Not bad. Good spin move. Here's Memphis down four. Coming up on five minutes to go. And another turnover. Make it a dozen now for the Tigers. Kalsher finishes. Two on one. Mike, it's old school. Great pass by Coons. Strong finish by Kalsher. Another turnover leading to open court opportunities. Watch this pass right back. Boom. Just like junior high. And that's what we've seen tonight. Some old school fundamental offensive defense. And T.J. Otzelberger told us when Iowa State arrived at Barclays Center on Wednesday to shoot around, he said, we need Gabe Kalsher to be the Gabe Kalsher. We know he can be, and he's shown flashes of that. He has, and, and he's playing really well here in New York. Now, oh, that's a beautiful spin move by Earl Timberlake to get an and one opportunity. Strong move. I love it. It was basically the same move. That he turned it over on the last time. This time the defense didn't watch. There's no defense to rotate over this time early enough. Jackson did not get there in time. Timberlake, good strong finish. You know, if there is a silver lining for the turnover tail for Memphis, they committed 10 in the first half in their last game on Wednesday, but only four in the second half. That's a bright spot. Can't put it any other way. And still... 12 turnovers tonight, only down three. Now some full court pressure dialed up by Penny Hardaway. Watch the pressure now. They're going to come double now. They're going to switch back. They do a lot of switching and jumping into passing lanes. Look how quick those hands are. Kalsher almost lost it. Ten on the shot clock for Iowa State. Here's Grill. Catch and release. Got it! Knew he had to get it up. A rhythm three. A three-pointer on the season for Caleb Grill. And the lead is back up to six. Nice job of Hunter getting through that screen. Bates looking to create for himself. Wild shot. It goes out of bounds, and it'll be Iowa State basketball. That's not going to go down as a turnover, but in essence, it was. Tough shot. We'll be back in Brooklyn with the close of the first half. One we've been impressed with so far. And obviously, the passing, the acumen, the IQ, not quite where Penny Hardaway wants it to be. Full court pressure now. Let's see how, the, how they come and double. Yeah, Caleb Brill, the former high school quarterback, inbounding that. They might have been looking for the home run ball there on Iowa State side. So now with Iowa State in the bonus, they will be at the line shooting free throws. This young man, a three-year starter at Minnesota for Richard Patino. 
He's from De La Salle High School, one of the great programs in Minnesota. Minnesota, by the way, loaded with great high school basketball in the last decade. It's unbelievable. Good help again. Look at this. This is unbelievable. If I was a point guard in college and I could go to Memphis and play with this athleticism, I would sign tomorrow. No knock on these kids. They play hard. Some of them have some offensive talent, but the, the clock management is, is not where Penny Hardaway wants it. Larry Brown must be out of his mind down there. There's a turnover by Iowa State. Timberlake in transition through the foul, and the clock stops at 324. Well, again, we were hoping to see Imani Bates and Jalen Dern in what on Wednesday's game And they barely played in the first half because of foul trouble and Dern's back out there on the bench as well Yeah, it's you know, listen, they're both gonna be good players someday rich When they're 25 or 26 or 27, they could be monsters. Jalen Dern is like Bam out of bio You know, Imani Bates is to me a wing scorer, you know, he's not and I don't understand this point guard stuff. He's a wing scorer and just because you dribble the ball well at 6'8 doesn't mean you're Penny Hardaway. Maybe when he's 22 he will be, but not now. Not, not enough to run a team and take them far. And I could be wrong in February, and I'll admit it, but right now this team's offensive decision-making is, is a work in progress. Well, they're learning and they're growing up right in front of our eyes. The defense is... You can't say enough about the defense. That's the fourth steal from the Memphis Tigers. Arguably the best defense in all of college basketball. Quinones. His second bucket of the night. One on one, good shot. He can get shots up, and he didn't turn it over. I'd rather him do that. And Aruna takes it himself. And one opportunity. For Tristan and Aruna. Good finish because the defender was backing up and he knew he couldn't be set. Timberlake tried to take the foul to charge, but he was too late. And Aruna did a good job of recognizing. Watch, watch Timberlake. He's backing up and he's in he's outside the got his feet foot on that line. And a good attack. It's a good call. You know, airborne player. You either got to be outside the restricted arc, two feet on the ground before he leaves his feet, or let him go. One foul. Iowa State four for six from the free throw line this first half, and Aruna attempting now his fifth free throw attempt of the season. And he misses the three-point opportunity. 2.45 to go. It's a 25-21 Iowa State lead. In the championship game of the Upsy NIT season tip-off from Brooklyn. Trying for back-to-back -to -back top 25 wins. They're running what they call a continuity pick and roll side to side, but it's basic, it's really a shell drill for Iowa State. Because that that ball moves side to side, it really is a great defensive drill for teams, and Iowa State is all, is locked in on it. Five to shoot for Memphis. He'll get a now shot. Two. Yep. Timberlake. Three, no good. Offensive rebound, Quinones, and he gets fouled on the floor. Good effort by Quinones. Again, get a shot up, don't turn it over, and we'll crash the glass. Well, coming up Sunday afternoon from Orlando, it's the championship game of the ESPN Events International. Dayton will take on Belmont, and if that surprises you, you are not alone. Dayton pulled off an epic upset earlier this afternoon against number four, Kansas. Dayton lost three bye games at home, unheard of, early in the year. And uh, today, they've got some pieces, recognizable names. Tremendous performance today. I, I, Rich, I don't, I don't think Kansas, I saw them practice three or four different times early in the year. I don't think Kansas is the number four team in the country right now. They've got guys coming back. They've got guys transferred in. They, other than maybe Ochai Abaji, this year they have no pros on their team. Good collection of players, but I don't think they're the number four team. I think they're going to be a work in progress, and I think by January 1st, Bill Self will have this team on them.
Well, it wasn't shot today. Scramble for the loose ball. And we're going the other way. Tyrese Hunter frustrated. Yep, and right now the best offense for Memphis has been this relentless defense. They're going to get a chance to shoot some free throws. And I know this. I doubt there's going to be a 10-second violation on the free throw, so we're not going to have a turnover here. And I'm not making light of these guys. I love their effort. I love their intensity. But I would rather a shot on the glass and go crash than the mindless turnovers we've seen here in Brooklyn. We're both Big Ten guys. We've called a lot of West Virginia games. It's reminiscent of... Bob Huggins West Virginia teams from years past where their best offense was miss it and go get an offensive rebound right but don't but not but not the turnovers right you know not quite the turnover this, this guy gets these kids to play as hard as anybody we've had some amazing games with Memphis the Houston game two years ago at the FedEx Forum on a Saturday afternoon here they come Pinones has eight we're tied at 25 uh, that's unfortunate. Oh, they're going to call the foul on Tyler Harris. Yeah, Tyler's got to know better. I'm not sure there was a lot there. Tyrese Hunter actually took the ball and tried to push through the trap. But you got to know. Let's see. Watch, watch Hunter try to push through right here. And I think right there he got his arm. But Ty, Ty, uh, little Tyler Harris. Oh, man, don't do that. You had him perfectly positioned with your legs. Former Steph Curry elite camp player. So here's Hunter. After an electric game in the semifinals, 19 points, five steals. That's just his fifth point tonight against this vaunted Memphis defense. I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and you're not gonna believe me. He's gonna play four years at Iowa State. This might be the most pressure he sees in four years. There's nobody in the Big 12 that plays this kind of defense. We talked about Huggins and West Virginia, but this kid's going to grow up tonight, make a lot of mistakes, and make some big plays. But this is relentless defense on him tonight. Under two minutes to go. We have a two-point ball game for the championship. Ten on the shot clock for the Tigers. Nice. Good Cal sure clears. Yeah, good execution, Rich. Little dribble handoff. Catch and shoot. Tyler Harris again gets his hand on the ball. You know, it's ironic. It's the same offense we talked about the other end. The side-to-side -side pick and roll. And for Memphis, it's the same deal. It's like it's what they do in practice every day. They switch when they, when they can. No airspace for this offense. Both of these defenses are so locked in. They are. Oh, they're not going to get this in. And Kalsher recognizes that and calls a timeout. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. Stick around. A dramatic final minute 25 in this first half still to come. Certainly we knew that would be the case with Memphis. I think early in the year, given the level of competition, we didn't expect that from Iowa State, but a win at home over Oregon State, Elite Eight last year, the, the, the convincing win against Xavier, and now tonight, this defense is for real. Here's Kuntz. Seven on the shot clock for the Cyclones. He can go. Gotta go. Kuntz with two. Kalsher squeezes it off and got it. Buzzer. Confidence is coming back, and that is going to be a great sign for the Cyclones. A baker's dozen for Gabe Kalsher gives the Cyclones a five-point lead. Now one minute to go in the half. There's that switching. See that side-to-side -side offense? It's just a defensive drill. Look at him. Look how locked in the the, uh, print, uh, the jerseys are. The dark jerseys. Spin. Williams. That's not the shot that Penny Hardaway wanted, and Gabe Kalsher took one in the chops. And not the foul that you want to commit there, because they're not scoring efficiently in the offense in the half court. So Tyler Harris, second one in the full court. No need for that. He's not a freshman. He's a fourth-year guy. DeAndre Williams, one for eight from three before that shot. And that was the only thing available on that possession. Yeah. It's almost like they dared him to shoot it.
Larry Brown on the sideline, sitting next to Rasheed Wallace. He looks like he would rather be anywhere else than right here. He'd rather be at Junior's right now <laughs> with a cup of coffee and a piece of cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. The great Junior's restaurant right down Atlantic Avenue, just a short walk from here. You know they were going to build a new Ebbets Field here at the Atlantic Terminal? Is that right? Yep, right here where we are. Grand Tricky wanted to build a baseball stadium here because of all the subways and credit to the junior high coach. And his basketball roots, you know this better than anyone, Fran, go all the way back to the legends, the forefathers of college basketball. No question. Frank McGuire, of course, Dean Smith was an assistant coach. Larry was a great player at North Carolina. Played in the Olympics in 64. 11-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. They go inside out. Quinones and Grill grabs it. Shot clock is off, and Iowa State's going to hold for the final shot of the first half. So they'll take a lead into the locker room. They're up 32-25 now. Ten seconds left. Back door, Hunter. Almost had it taken away, had it blocked by Williams. It goes out of bounds, and it's Memphis basketball with 4.9 to go in the half. Now Lomax out, Landers Nolly in for Penny Hardaway. <laughs> Iowa State looking for back-to-back -back wins over top 25 teams. Here's Harris, and he beats the buzzer. Here the ball better, but Iowa State's not going to have an easy time scoring. In the second half, they have worked hard for every basket. Gabe Kelscher has led the way for Iowa State. 15.6 rebounds and three steals. Here's Jalen Durant. Foul trouble again in this first half. So this is the first time we're seeing him in quite a while. Now let's take a look at our upsy first half stats and defense tells the story on both sides. Well, it does. Yeah, and again, yes, ball uh, passing a problem at times, but it's not just the defense, it's the technique, it's the athleticism, it's the character. Both of these teams are high level defensive teams. Tyrese Hunter limited to six points. Isaiah Brockington, who had a career high 30 in the semifinals, held to just two in the first half for Iowa State. Tried to isolate Durham, but that's not George Condit's game usually. Three on the shot clock. Kelsher's going to have to fire. He does and hits. What Second a time tonight he's done that. What a night for Gabe Kelsher. Got off to a slow start this year offensively for Iowa State, but. His offense has really come alive in Brooklyn. And you have to make tough shots against this team. That one almost stolen away. It'll stay Memphis basketball. Gabe Kalsher, a game high 17. He's the only player on both teams in double figures right now. Every basket is like a hand to hand combat tonight. Alex Lomax triggers the inbounds for the Tigers. Here's Quinones. See how many bodies are on that baseline. We call that fill and sink. Bates, offensive foul. Good positioning on defense by Gabe Kalsher. It's a clinic. Dick Bennett, Bob Knight, you name them, they would love this. Now Memphis gets in its own way, but the technique defense, look at this. Watch this now. That is legal. See, once you have two feet on the ground, Facing the man with the ball, you are allowed to slide sideways or backwards. That is perfect technique by Kalsher. They swing the ball to Kalsher. He's fielded! He's fielded at a four-point play from number 22 in Cardinal Red. That's Gabe Kalsher. Wednesday night, Isaiah Brockington took the game over. Tonight, it's been Gabe Kalsher. I mentioned earlier, 15% coming into Booker. Rich, as a freshman at Minnesota, he shot 41 from three. 
as a sophomore, 34, last year, 25. How cool would it be if he gets his confidence back? He completes that three-point play, has a season-high 21 points. And he's extended Iowa State's lead, their largest of the night, 38-27. Again, side-to-side -side continuity means it's just a defensive drill right now. Memphis not looking really to score. Bates will. No good. Brockington clears and wants to run. Here's Hunter. And that one's blocked out of bounds by Imani Bates. Well, you made a great point, Rich. You're probably right now. Perfect example. Score early. Yeah. And they got out off that rebound and got out early. And that has been a good piece of strategy tonight for T.J. Otzelberger. You espoused that early. And that's exactly the way some of this game has played out tonight. There's just no airspace available on either side of the floor. Oh, boy. Kalsher's feeling it. Heat check goes out of bounds. It'll stay Iowa State basketball. How about this guy in town tonight? George Niang, who's having an outstanding year from the fellow of the Philadelphia 76ers. Rich, you and I have been in Ames. There aren't five more popular players who have ever played at that school than George Niang. 2016 All-America scored 2,000 points, over 700 rebounds and 400 assists in his illustrious career as a Cyclone. And now, to your point, he's averaging close to 12 a game. Doing great. The Sixers. Yeah, great free agent pickup from Methune, Mass. Some people think the greatest player ever to come out of the Merrimack Valley. Some Matt Bonner fans would disagree. I'm going to go with George Niang on that one. But seriously, great career. Part of that renaissance under Fred Hoiberg, Monte Morris in the NBA, Matt Thomas, Naz Long playing well overseas. Great move. Lomax challenged. It rolls off the rim. Duran gets another chance. And Jalen Duran is in the scoring column for the first time tonight. Nicely done. Good poise that time by Duran. Gathered himself. Now full court pressure after the meet. Handled by Hunter. Bounce pass. Jones. And Robert Jones will go to the line and shoot a pair. And Jones has got to go up and dunk that. Can't miss that shot. Great pass out of the double team. When Iowa State has handled the pressure in the backcourt and midcourt, they've gotten the ball in advantage situation at the rim. This young man from Minneapolis started his career at Denver. Excellent student. And as much as we talk about the defense on both ends being so superior tonight, Iowa State struggled out of the gates, 3 for 18. But they're 10 for their last 15 from the field. What's impressed you the most about their offense? Boys. Well, first of all, they've got a guy who's red hot. That always helps. Kalsher's been on fire, but the poise as well. Two not good-looking free throws right there. An invisible turnover. There's Nolly for three. Better than a turnover. Last year, Landers Nolly was All-American Conference. Just three three-pointers tonight so far for Memphis, and Landers Nolly has two of them. And Aruna lost the handle. Good challenge there. Good job of not fouling by both freshmen. They walled off and Aruna, and he had nowhere to go. Now Jazz Kuntz checks in for T.J. Altsoburn. Yeah, watch this job inside. And Aruna loses it. Now watch them. Just put your hands up. That's all you got to do. They're not going to score over you. You don't want to foul them. Now the best player on the floor tonight, Gabe Kalsher. That's two tough shots in a row. He's been feeling it. He doesn't need to jack them. But he comes up with his fourth steal of the night there. Here's a lob. Look out! Turnover to an easy bucket. Iowa State's got some athletes, too. Isaiah Brockington, who started his career at St. Bonaventure. I think for Jim Sadlin. Here's another steal by Kalsher. Goes right at Bates with the left hand. He's unconscious, Brad. This is unbelievable. 
This team won two games a year ago. Two and 22. Only three players returned. And now they're on the brink of winning two games in a row against top 25 foes. And one opportunity coming up for Earl Timberlake. Take a look, Iowa State on a roll, opening. Where he, there's no hesitation. Yeah, he's gotten out of the offense a little bit, but you don't mind that. For Memphis now, keep this in mind, 11 players tonight have played six minutes or more. So the cumulative effect of the pressure, Penny Hardaway hope, hopes kicks in here in the last 15 or so minutes. Timberlake out of the timeout, completes the three-point play. Because they're pressing every dead ball possession. Here it comes. DeAndre Williams at the head of the press for the Tigers. Pretty good job of handling that first trap. But watch, watch those white jerseys. They come up from behind, try to tip it. Rockington hangs, can't hit, Oops. out of bounds, Memphis basketball. You don't see that often, an air ball on a drive. You've been saying all game long, you advocate for Iowa State going right at the teeth of the Memphis yeah. defense. That's what they were doing. Well, you got to get it on the rim, though. Yeah. Timberlake, no. Tips. Here comes Hunter. Oh, good execution. Look how, look how hard they cut. Rockington steps back and knocks it down. Good D. Better shot. He heated up in the second half of the semifinal game, too. 23 points. It's going to be fun at Hilton Coliseum this year. We're going back soon. That's right. Keep that a secret, Rich. <laughs> the Cyhawk series what? coming up. I said keep it a secret. I haven't let my people know. That's a foul. That no is a whistle. Foul. And a three wow. by Landers Nolan. Now, let me just say this. It's possible that the, the official felt the offensive player made the contact. Something they're trying to get a, away from this year is calling that foul when the offensive player initiates. Landers Nolly had four three-pointers coming into this game. He's got three tonight. Let's go watch that last play. I think it was, was it Jaden uh, Hardaway. Yeah, I would have called that a foul, honestly, yeah. on the defense. Yep, see, the key, the key is for, it's not a big play, but Counselor's got to stay vertical. I think he went forward. Now Malcolm Good Dandridge job. checks in, number 23 in white for Penny Hardaway, and Jalen Duran, the superstar freshman, takes a seat on the bench. I thought Malcolm Dandridge played one of the best games I've seen him play yeah. on Wednesday night. I've seen Memphis five or six times, Rich, in the last three years. And of course, former Memphis East star who helped Penny Hardaway win some titles. Bounce pass. Hunter again oh, goes man. right at the That's defense. That's what you do, Rich. I keep telling you, young guys at home, they, he'll block your shot, but take it up through his face. He'll respect you. Hunter's got no fear. Nolly, not that time. Offensive rebound, Williams. Love his effort. This came up empty. One and a foul. Not tonight. Now Kalsher. Keeper, Iowa State. Look at his cutting. Yeah, they look crisp on offense in the second half, but a block by Dandridge. Didn't even have to jump. Nice play by Malcolm Dandridge. Nice. Oh, not nice. Williams can't handle it. Here's Terry Sutter, the star freshman for Iowa State. And this is toughness right here. This is toughness. Watch this. I'm going right through you, big fella. I don't care if you're there. You jump, I'll hang, I'll finish. Watch this. Great job by the freshman from Racine, Wisconsin. A place that state's put a number of quality players into that Cyclone program. Chris, Scott Christofferson, Deontay Garrett. This kid, a kid named Halliburton, was pretty good. T.J. Otzelberger calls Tyrese Hunter low ego, high producing. Young man who lost both of his parents as a youngster. Lives for a good part of his formative years with his older brother. Good trap. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna have a tea. Somebody's getting teed here, unless they uh, let that go. A little frustration by Dandridge. And San Diego State, Andy Enfield has his team in the top 25 again. San Diego State, Brian Dutcher, again doing an outstanding job. San Diego State got past Georgetown in that semifinal. Here comes more pressure, and that's time it's Jackson. Coots, ooh, there it is. Threw it away, loose ball, bodies all over the place. And I'm telling you, Isaiah Brockington, when they watch that film, T.J. Otzelberg will say, if you dive on the floor, we get that possession. He tried to reach over and pick it up. Could have saved uh, Cyclones' possession. Watch this right here. Unprepared. Jones. Now watch Brockington. Dive on the floor. Pick it up, man. I'm, I'm a stickler for that. Well, these are the 50-50 balls that exactly could ultimately decide a ball game. First to the floor, we always say. First, first to the floor. We a lot of coaches espouse that. Seven on the shot clock for the Cyclones. Yeah, Jackson is not a one-on-one -on -one player. Short on the jumper. And Coots and Timberlake collide. And a foul is going to be called on Earl Timberlake. Jazz Coons played three years at Washington State. They've got a deep team. Didn't feel he was going to get a lot of time this year. But he played a lot of minutes for Kyle Smith. And he's done a lot of dirty work. Had a big game early in the year. Shooting a three ball. But, he, but he's, a, he's, a, he's doing a good job of being a junkyard dog. And anybody who's from Slovenia should make his free throws. Well, he's two for two tonight. And just like, just like I said. <laughs> Memphis not going away. Funny I say it that way, right? It should right. be the other way, but Memphis defense is going to be relentless. Can they get some good looks? There's Tyler Harris, the great. former Cyclone. Yeah, great switch. Former teammate Jackson. Thrill. Great Coots. Great aggressive with yeah. the rebound. Tremendous block out. Lots of crimson on the glass there. Here's the trap. Spread it out. Move the ball. Nice. Jump stop. Bounce pass. Buckets. Great job. That's how you do it. Once you beat that first line, do not give the defense a chance to rediscover its defense. Just attack them. 12 20 to go. The Cardinal and Gold sniffing an upset. There's Nolly. Too strong. Now they got Watch Coons. This is textbook. We've been talking fundamentals all night. Watch. Jump stop. Fake. Go the other way. Oh, they're loving this at Wallabies right now. They're going crazy. The sound is up. Been to Wallabies with me? Of course. Okay. Might get a free meal next time. Yeah. If you're watching at home, you may not know that Fran Fraschilla is the de facto mayor of Ames. Now we've done so many great games in that building. Oh. That place will be rocking if this team's playing like this. If this team plays this hard, they're going to be they're going to be proud of this team. I don't know how many games they'll win, but they're going to be proud of. Look at that swarm. Look at the defense. Great call on the shot clock. Quinones. That's a good call. Yeah. Obviously has to be disappointed with their loss to Dayton today, but uh, I said earlier rich I saw them and I thought It's not gonna happen overnight for them. I know they, I know they beat Michigan State champions, but uh, I Expect that Kansas team to be very good by about January 15th or so You know those Kansas teams you and I know them so well they get really a lot better during that Christmas break remember yep. They got all that time to practice and a little bit of boot camp. A little bit of boot camp. Don't be all bad. Good pressure again. And Aruna aggressive. Nice. Left hand over the outstretched paws of Jalen Duran. Good D by Duran, but then Aruna right at him again. That's how you attack the shot blocker. You cannot baby that ball up there. Bates just tossed it up at the rim and came up empty. Out of bounds, it'll be Iowa State basketball. Monty Bates wants a foul right here, but that's this is not Peach Jam, bro. He's a, he's gonna he wanted a foul, but he just threw up threw up a tough shot. 
And we look for keys as to why these Iowa State Cyclones are up 12 right now, Fran, their largest lead of the game. Look at the points in the paint, 22 to 10 over Memphis. Yeah, well, and that's what you have to have an aggressive mindset. You know, you do. I'd love to see Imani go to the basket and get fouled. But you said it, that ball was up there, had helium in it, and growing pains. Right. Threaded the needle to his big man, George Condit. And Condit gets fouled. Well, it has been an instantaneous turnaround since T.J. Otzelberger has taken the reins at Iowa State. Last year, winless in the Big 12. Only two wins in the non-conference all season. It was their fewest wins in almost 100 years. And yet... With a virtually totally different roster, T.J. Altsberger has assembled a bunch of guys who he knows will play hard. This this team already has his fingerprints all over. You know they play Arkansas Pine Bluff in their next home game. I don't know if they're going to have a sellout, but this this group will get a rousing ovation just on the effort alone, regardless of what happens tonight. I got I, Iowa State fans texting me saying I can't believe I'm watching this team play this hard. And, and what they want in Ames, as, as you know, we've been there through the years, is just effort, you know, effort. And let's get let's get real about this. They dealt with COVID last year. They had injuries. Steve Prohm unexpectedly lost guys to the NBA. Nobody thought that Taylor Horton Tucker and Tyrese Halliburton, you know, would be gone even by now. But the reality is uh, that's how it rolls. And uh, Jamie Pollard, the athletic director, hired Matt Campbell. As his football coach, and I think he's made a pretty good hire in this guy. DJ Altsberger has cardinal red blood. That is for sure. He married a Cyclone, Allison Lacey, three-time All Big 12 player on her own right, a WNBA champion with the Seattle Storm. She would have been here, except they have three young kids, so she's a mom first. I'm sure watching at home, cheering on her Cyclones. All right, let's see the let's see what Memphis has got now. Sense of urgency with 10 minutes to go. It's like they're in a little matchup zone right now. Hunter hangs, can't hit. Numbers, finally. They give it back. Williams thought about the three, takes the three wide open and hits it. There you go. That's number two on the season, right? That is correct. But I love the ball movement. I love the I love them kicking it up the floor. Nicely done. A lot of time left for this Memphis defense. An eight-point game coming up on ten minutes to go. Remember, they've they've played eleven tonight, so they shouldn't be tired. Here's Kalsher in the corner. Bingo! Boy, Rockington on Wednesday, Kalsher tonight. Two former Big Ten guys. They played a lot of minutes in that league. Both were starters. Gabe Kalsher, five for seven from the free throw line, three for four from three, and ten for 16 overall. And this is a young man who, in his days at Minnesota, showed the propensity for being able to fill it up it, it but it went progressively downhill down. each yeah. year you know his first year he shot 40 percent he had a game winner on a, at a tournament they were in out on the west coast i remember and uh you know brighter days were ahead he comes from a great program de la salle produced uh the travis brothers noah played at harvard reed played at uh stanford and then kentucky one of the powerhouses in minnesota basketball He's gotten as many threes tonight as he has all season. Lomax can't hit the front end of the one and one. But how about Hunter? How good has Hunter been? Breeder naturally mature for just a true freshman. Nice kick out. Loose ball. Grabbed by Kalsher. Ten on the clock. He's feeling it. No way. Not that way. Offensive rebound, loose ball. Condit grabs it. That's that 50 50 ball you talked about, Rich. It's 
see what they watch the cuts. Here's Anaruna. Got it. First three of the year for Tristan and Aruna. Watch the trap. There it Jordan is. Threw it yeah. right to Hunter. And Hunter gets the foul and will go to the line. Let's take a look at tonight's game track brought to you by VisitOrlando.com. What do you see, friend? Uh, relentless defense and relentless execution by Iowa State. I'm stunned, Rich. Watch practice in October. I knew they were building a, a culture, a work ethic, the defense, but I did not see this coming either on Wednesday or tonight. I'm, I'm stunned. I'm impressed. And uh, this young man at the line has impressed me as well. Tyrese Hunter out of St. Catharines. It's a school that has had great Milwaukee basketball traditions. Racine just south of Milwaukee. Remember Jimmy McElvain? A guy named Jim Jones, who was a great player for uh, Coach Al and Marquette. Coached by Nick Bennett. We mentioned the Bennett family so big in yeah. Wisconsin. And, and this guy's from Wisconsin absolutely. also. Yep. So they are kindred spirits. Well, he recruited a lot of those kids that went to um, went to Iowa State. Matt Thomas from across, actually on Alaska to be exact. E.J. Otzelberger called this job a dream scenario for him. And he's living a dream right now on the verge of back-to-back -to -back top 25 upset wins. The crazy thing is, I'm not sure Memphis can score 15 points in eight minutes. Nolly got it. It's a good start. Landers Nolly can put the ball in the basket. He was only averaging six shots a game coming into New York. That would probably have to change based on what we've seen tonight. Look at that movement. Good cuttings, killing some time. Oh! Nice what cut. a cut yeah. and a finish by Caleb Grill. That is the perfect execution of what we call a 45-degree cut. You could not run an offense any better than that just there. Grill cut from the backside behind the defense who was not paying attention. Nolly again. Off to the right, grill the rebound. And once again, what I would do if I were T.J. Otzelberger with a timeout coming is once they get over midcourt, see if you can run that side-to-side -side action again. And here they go. Kill some time. Keep cutting. Keep it reversed. Now start to look to shoot it. Eight on the shot clock. Here's Kelsher. He'll shoot it. He's got a game-high 28 tonight. Spins, fakes, up, and doesn't get it to go. You know what? They killed about 30-plus seconds on that possession, and they didn't turn it over. Here's Bates working on Inaruna. A little tough, too. Uh, it, it's a little it's tough to watch. It really is. He's going to be a good player when he's like 22, 23. He's 17 years old. Coots, no way. Like a wild stallion through no the way. Memphis defense. Wow. Stunning. Honestly, I, I am stunned. They led by five at the break. They're up 17 in the second half. 620 away from an NIT title. We're used to seeing from Iowa State during the Fred Hoiberg days and the Steve Throne days. You always knew that Iowa State would score because they were very fluid offensively. They've never had a defense quite like this. The joke when Fred was winning all those Big 12 tournament titles was they spent 10 minutes a day on defense. <laughs> and it's almost true. Not the case with this team. But this team doesn't have offensive firepower either. They have to win this way right now. Good cut. 
Lomax, very nice. Got it to go. Same similar situation. Lomax cut behind the defense that time. Nice execution by Canones, who jump stopped in the lane. Good fundamental basketball. Full court pressure after the make. Tyler Harris harassing Gabe Kalsher. And Aruna gets tripped from behind. That's going to be a foul on Harris. We'll step aside. 5.43 to go. Iowa State up 15 on number nine, Memphis. And number seven, Oklahoma State. That kicks off at 7.30 Eastern on ABC. And uh, Cowboys quarterback Spencer Sanders trying to stick the dagger in the Sooners. Because if Oklahoma State wins at home, they knock uh, Oklahoma out of a chance at a Big 12 title. That would go to Baylor. And then if... Lincoln Riley and the boys can win in Stillwater. There will be a rematch in Dallas next week. That's going to be a great in-state rivalry game. And that rivalry, sadly, is going away because uh, Texas, that football juggernaut, and Oklahoma are heading to the SEC. You don't think they'll still play? No, uh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Another turnover. Oh, looks like they're going to keep it here. Well, no, but it is a turnover. I, honestly, Rich, I just don't think Memphis has any way to score 17 points. Their fewest points this year was 69 against Virginia Way up. That came two nights ago. Way up. They're carving this defense up like we did yesterday at the Smith when we had that turkey. Goodness. Oh boy, they're gonna and check this. Jazz Koontz took an elbow to the face. Now, I hope this is not on purpose because I'm hoping it's an accident. Uh, DeAndre Williams has gotten a little frustrated. Uh, problem with the one. Severe and extreme would have been with a fist. And looking at the guy dead on in the eye. And now Aliaj Koontz, young man they call Jazz. DeAndre Williams has been a team leader for this Memphis club going back to last year. And right now he's got his guys huddled up at the other foul line. And right now, T.J. Otzelberger, Rich, I've had this experience a few times as a head coach. He's having an out-of-body experience right now. I mean that. He is saying to him, I mean this sincerely now. He is saying to himself, I cannot believe that all of the hard work that we have put in since April actually is manifesting itself on the court right now like he doesn't want this dream to end for another five minutes and then he's going to be the happiest man in iowa not over yet but this has been a basketball clinic tonight could be a fun ride home to ames there's coots for three and maybe that's the icing on the cake i'm telling you he's got goosebumps inside it's an amazing feeling when you put the work in time after time, the 7 a.m. practices, the weights, the conditioning, and see your team do this. Because this doesn't happen often during the season. And Kutz is everywhere. Hit the free throws, got the three-pointer, and that rebound as well. That has a careless mistake. That's a block. And a ticky tack foul by Tyrese Hunter will send Alex Lomax to the line to try to complete a three point play. Yeah, the Hunter's not been perfect tonight. We didn't expect him to be, but that time you throw it away, you're up 24, let him score, take it out of bounds, and don't give him a chance now to set up their press and have fresh bodies come into the game. Yeah, fresh bodies, fresh men. Yes. Literally. Yeah. Jalen Duran, Josh Minot. And Imani Bates all checking in for Penny Hardaway. By the way, all three of those guys will be NBA players. Absolutely. They'll be playing here in a couple of years yeah. in NBA uniforms. It, they will. It's just it's, it's, it's a fait accompli. Not only that, it's going to happen. <laughs> Duran held to two points and five rebounds tonight. Bates just five points, one rebound, no assists. This is the hard part of... Uh, mock drafts is because we they rate these kids before they play a college game and then they say that they're overrated when they drop them but that's why you have the internet four minutes to go hunter 
You can see they're still burning clock. Yeah, even that showed maturity. It did. Five to shoot. Got to shoot it now. Koontz will. He got held. Condit got held by Timberlake. Our final media timeout is upon us. 3.46 to go. That's all that stands between Iowa State and an NIT championship. He's got 20, and he's on the bench chilling. Iowa State 71, Memphis 49. It was a defensive war in the first half, and then all of a sudden, Iowa State kept the clamps on Memphis's offense, but their offense, respectively, came alive in the second half. They had a couple guys get hot, certainly Kousher with his career night. They got baskets off the pressure, attacking it. And uh, it's been an absolute incredible performance by a team that won two games last year. You know, we were counting them up, Rich, with the transfers, some of the guys that returned. Eight soft, uh, excuse me, nice move there by Amani. Eight juniors and seniors on this Iowa State roster. And again, Memphis, a young, a relatively young team. Obviously, Bates and Durham and... My not out there now or just freshmen. Time now for our protection spotlight presented by Upsy, and it features a freshman. Speaking of freshmen, the only freshman on this roster, Tyrese Hunter. Watch him take the ball right at the big fellas. No fear. And this Iowa State team all night long played with no fear. Tyrese Hunter not having quite the night that he had in the yeah. semifinals when he went off for 19 points and five steals. Still has nine points, five assists, and three steals tonight. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Upsy, very proud of him. By the way, get on the Upsy website. Yes. Yeah. You know, use the code TURKEY and you get 15% off. Just wanted to let you guys at home know. So there's 3.10 to go. It's academic at this point as Gabe Kelcher knocks down the free throw. He's just adding on to his numbers. Kelcher with 29. And make it 30. His career high is 34. So back-to-back -back games where T.J. Otzelberger had one player in particular light it up on the offensive end. In the semifinals, it was Isaiah Brockington who went for 30 against Xavier. And tonight, it's Gabe Kelsher's night. And by the way, George Condit is a senior playing the best basketball of his career, the anchor inside. Timberlake, no. Now... Brockington getting bumped. He'll go to the line. This is like the old guys at the Y playing the newbies. And uh, the old guys are going to hold the court for a while. Very talented group at Memphis. They play hard. We saw great defense for most of this weekend, but uh, just uh, Rich, I just, I just don't know how they're going to be able to survive against elite teams without the ability to take care of the basketball. I know one guy who's enjoying this, came up from Philly to see this. That guy right there, George Niang. Having a terrific year. Free agent signing. Iowa State's put a lot of dudes in the NBA in the last 10 years. They have, they really have. Uh, you know, unheralded. Yeah. Deontay Burton was there for a while. Matt Thomas now. Monte Morris. Signed a great deal with the Nuggets. He's been outstanding. Naz Long playing over. They got a lot of guys playing overseas, too, making good money. Going back to Will Clyburn and the bad boys, Chris. Nick Wilder, bad. Great group of guys, too. They, they've represented the university in a first-class way. And I'm not so, sure where he is right now, but Jeff Hornacek must be smiling yeah. somewhere. There you go. There you go. Count the basket. He's liking it. I think he's a scorer, man. I do. I, 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 I would I would put the point guard stuff in my back pocket and let him do this, man. He can create on his own. 
You know, you know when he's 25, he's going to be killing people. Yeah. I mean, how do you stop that shot? He's That's Kevin Durant. Yeah. Yep. What do I know? I don't watch the high school guys like I used to. I'm, I'm sure he was. He's going to be phenomenal. But I like it. You know, they they say these are talking to the coaching staff. They love these kids. They, uh -huh. they love them all. It, then he's not going to uh, suffer fools gladly. He's not going to have any clowns out there. There's coach's son, Jaden Hardaway. Good pass. Hardaway for three. He's got the no foul there. called. Yeah. Wow. Brogdon, he got a piece. Smart. Pull it out. This game's over. Run your clock. Celebrate. Iowa State's going to be 6-0 and for the first time since 2015, Fran. And there is only a small handful of power conference teams who are 6-0 and in this young part of the season. Duke is one of them. Baylor's another one. They're 7-0 and now. Well, Purdue. They, yep. They, they, they don't want to stub their toe on Pine Bluff. And then they go to Creighton. And then, of course, the Hawkeyes come to town. Blocked by Brockington. It's been a complete destruction. I'm anxious to see Memphis in February, you know, in, in American Conference play. And it's a great lesson. Go back and watch the tape and see the mistakes. We all do it. Shot clock violation. Under two minutes to go. Memphis's only lead of the game was when they had a 2-1 lead with 17.51 to go. Yeah, the, the, Coach Otzelberg was barking at George Condit because he needed him in the press offense. But deep down, he's thrilled. And you know what? This this young guy, he's got some turnovers tonight. But, you know, a great compliment to him. His coach called him. He's, he's, I said, who does he remind you of? He said, Jarrell McNeil. Who not only played at Marquette yeah. and is the all-time leading scorer at Marquette, I believe. Although my guy Howard, I think, passed him. Little Marcus Howard. So I take that back, Marcus. You had an amazing career. But Jarrell McNeil is the epitome of what toughness is. And that's a pretty good compliment. That's a foul. Don't do that. No need to do that, freshman. See, if I was Isaiah Brockington right now, I'd just tell him, hey, come on, man. Call him aside. The game's over. Don't do that. <laughs> And you made the point, and it, you know, I mean, he's glad to be home, but Tyler Harris could have been a part of this, but uh, he jetted back to Memphis where he started his career. But he played with Trey Jackson, who's been out there tonight. And for those of you who tuned in, like, quite frankly, we did yeah. to see Jalen Duran and see what he has in store for the basketball world a combined one for six from the field and two points in two games i'm i'm not smart enough to know how good an nba player he's going to be right now honestly i watch him for two games i have no idea usually you know when kevin when rick barnes told us that kevin durant was the best player in the country as a freshman you'd say yep but i i can't tell yet you know yeah it's, it's so early in the development. And then Imani Bates, he's two years away from the draft. He's only 17. These guys were high school sophomores just a little over a year ago. Yeah, I, I think for this team, DeAndre Williams, Timberlake, and Nolly, and Womax have to kind of lead the way. And then just, you know, those freshmen have just got to be role players right now. And being a role player for Imani Bates means going to get buckets, you know? Being a role player for Jalen Duran is rebound block shots. Brighter days ahead for sure for this Memphis Tigers program. A lot of the pundits picking them first in the American Conference. Some picking them second behind Houston. One thing we know is they have a fierce defense and if they could figure it out offensively, they'll be a handful for any team in the country. I think they go to Georgia next week. Yeah. They play five of their next six games against SEC schools. Georgia, Ole Miss. Then they'll take on the Murray State Racers before facing Alabama and Tennessee. So a lot more 
tests still to come for this young Tigers team. It is over, and TJ Otzelberger knows it. He's beaming inside. He's still looking, the, he's still got the intense Chris Beard look, but watch out. Rockington looking to put an exclamation point on it. This is yeah, th this is like this is like you're you're an artist and you you know you just painted a masterpiece. Yeah. So the teams that are now six and zero oh or better, it's a very short list. Iowa State, Baylor, Duke, LSU, Iowa is six and zero. Oh. How fun is that Cyhawk series going to be? Uh, yeah, we're going to get there and have a couple good meals. And watch a great in-state rivalry. Graham McCaffrey, we're going to see Ke uh, yeah. Keegan Murray, who's having an All-American year, and the McCaffrey boys, and Jordan Bohannon, Joe Toussaint's off to a great start at the point. Going to be fun. Imagine if Jack Nungy was on that team, <laughs> who, you know, transferred home for personal reasons. I would have had a great tournament here in New York as well. Uh, the shot clock is off. The Cyclone fans who made their way to Brooklyn are on their feet. And you want to talk about a statement pair of games for the Iowa State Cyclones. They are putting the rest of the Big 12 and the rest of the country on notice. A dominating performance on Wednesday night and an even more dominating performance in the championship game. Back-to-back -to -back top 25 upsets by the Iowa State Cyclones capped off with a 78-59 championship against number nine Memphis. For Fred Bichello and everybody in the